Hello everyone, this is a new topic in Predictive Analytics Unit 2, okay? Bayesian Approach and BIC. Very, very important topic. They may ask compulsory this question because it is complicated. Not so complicated, but then Bayesian Approach and BIC is important for the predictive values, okay? So if you are not following my series of the first unit to till this video, you cannot understand this. So please watch that videos and then only you come to this videos. Okay. First one, what is Bayesian approach? We'll divide this video into two. That is Bayesian approach and one is BIC. Okay. First one, we'll see what is Bayesian approach. The Bayesian approach is a statistical framework. Okay. That combines period language knowledge with observed data to make inferences about unknown quantifiers by having some knowledge. It will estimate, it will observe the data to make inferences about unknown quantities. It will, uh, uh, by having that knowledge, it will observe the data to make inferences about the unknown quantifies. Okay, it is a statistical framework. Next, in other words, it provides a way to update our beliefs or knowledge based on new evidence. Okay, here is your knowledge is period and the new evidence is data. The key concept in Bayesian statistics is Bayesian theorem. Okay, how we can do this all statistical framework and how we can combine the period language knowledge and what is the beliefs, how can we do this all by using the Bayesian theorem. The Bayesian theorem formula is P of A by B is equals to P of B by A into P of A by P of B. This is the Bayesian theorem formula. Okay, next let's see about this formula. In, con in the context of Bayesian statistics, P of A by B is the posterior probability representing the probability of hypothesis a given the observed data B. Okay, A will given the observed data to the B here. Next, in P of B by A is the likelihood representing the probability of observing the data B given to the hypothesis A. It means again here. Uh, firstly, here A will give the data, give, given the observed data to B. That B will represent the probability of the observing data and uh, give given to the hypothesis A. Okay. After this, both giving the data to each other, what will happen in the P of A here? P of A is the period probability representing our initial belief or probability of hypothesis A. Next, P of B is the evidence probability representing the probable probability of observing the data b okay next steps in bayesian approach i already said that bayesian approach and bic is there what is bayesian approach and what are the steps what is bayesian approach we have learned in this previous slide here in steps in the bayesian approach first one is prior okay starts with an initial belief or probability distribution about the unknown parameters that means it will not know by it, on the new data or new parameters only it will start based on the period knowledge on information it have only small knowledge or it may it may have some uh, exact not having exact knowledge but having some knowledge to estimate the or to estimate or inference the new data okay next one is likelihood Access the likelihood of observing the given data and the div different values of the parameter. Next one is posterior. Combine the prior and likelihood using Bayesian theorem to calculate the posterior distribution representing the updated belief about the parameter given the observed data. These three steps, prior, likelihood and posterior, these three steps will explain the it by having the some knowledge we can estimate the unknown data it will estimate whether it is correct or not how it will ex estimate by using the bayesian theorem okay at last what will happen after these three steps will update as more the data becomes available continually update the posterior distribution to refine the estimate of unknown parameter if we get the correct answer our knowledge is right if it doesn't get the correct answer we'll go on check or we we'll go on update the data in the posterior step okay next let's see an example about this you can understand let's consider an example of estimating the probability of rain tomorrow that means with we have having some knowledge we are estimating whether the rain will come tomorrow or not that means we have probability of rain tomorrow 
फर्स्ट वन प्रेयर इन इन प्रेयर योर इनिशियल बिलीफ अबाउट द प्रॉबिलिटी ऑफ रेन टुमारो माइट बी बेस्ड ऑन द हिस्टोरिकल वेदर पैटर्न और सीजनल इन्फॉर्मेशन बाय हैविंग सम नॉलेज वी आर एस्टिमेटिंग दैट द रेन विल कम टुमारो बाय बाय व्हाट नॉलेज वी हैव बेस्ड ऑन द हिस्टोरिकल वेदर पैटर्न और सीजनल इन्फॉर्मेशन ओके नेक्स्ट वन इन लाइवलीहुड गिवेन द करेंट वेदर कंडीशन दैट इज क्लाउड कवर विंड स्पीड access the likelihood of the observing these conditions if it were to rain tomorrow it means it will understand uh, we are giving the conditions in period we have some knowledge in likelihood it is asking that how you can say that whether will rain tomorrow or not means we are giving the examples like a uh, cloud cover and wind is spe- wind speed we are giving these examples it will act, it will come the rain by tomorrow okay by understanding by understanding this likelihood what uh, step will be taken here posterior combining the prior and the likelihood using bayes 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 theorem to update your belief about the probability of rain tomorrow based on the observed weather conditions okay this will check whether after combining the or both beliefs it will decide whether it will rain tomorrow or not okay update as more information become available example changes in atmospheric pressure continuously update your estimate of the probability of rain it means for every one hour or every uh, particular hour we'll get an a uh, new update of a weather okay by uh, updating the weather you, you should update in posterior step then it can decide, decide whether it will come or not rain tomorrow okay this is the example of uh, the bayesian approach The Bayesian approach is particularly useful when dealing with uncertainty, limited data, or need no or need to incorporate prior language into statistical inference. Okay. It has applications in various fields, including machine learning, medical research, and decision making under uncertainty. Okay. You understood about Bayesian approach. Then what is your BIC? BIC is nothing but Bayesian information criterion. okay the bayesian information criterion is a statistical measure this is also a statistical measure same like bayesian approach that is used in model selection and an hypothesis testing to detect the best model among all other available candidates it will select the best one from all the other candidates okay this method strikes a balance between model fit and complexity and aims to identify the most economical and informative model okay let's see how here we having a image of bayesian information criterion bic first is it it is a statistical model what will do this statistical model helps identifying the best model among a set of available options in a class we have a students that means in that particular 20 students will select the best students who will study well okay not other students will not study well but best uh, comparing to them comparatively by having a highest grades we will select the best students right same here also it is a statistical method it helps in identifying the best model among a set of available options after that used in hypothesis testing and model selection after that we will test that particular data if it if, if it perform well we will take that data okay used in hypothesis testing and model selection this is main clear picture of bic that is bayesian information criterion next we have formula for this bayesian information criterion that is k log of n minus 2 log n uh, 2 log l of theta okay where n is the sample size we are giving a particular size k the number of parameters that the po- model estimates that means we are giving the parameters for this sample size and next l of theta that is the maximized value of the likelihood of the model test now you have understood about bic and you also understood the picture format of bic here it is a formula next it is example by seeing this example you can easily understand okay suppose james is an analyst who want to compare two models with the bic the james wants to compare the model uh, two models with the bic okay we are having a two best models 
in the two best models we have to select one best model okay he starts calculating the bic for each model james has a set of data with 100 observation points model 1 estimates three parameters while model 2 estimates four parameters here james has two models in that first model has 100 observations okay and with that 100 observation points model 1 estimates three parameters whereas model 2 estimates four parameters okay suppose the log of a maximum likelihood for model 1 is small a and for model 2 it is 2a okay we are giving a maximum likelihood for both using the formula k log of n minus 2 log l of theta calculating bic on this data gives the following first model one is 3 log of 100 minus 2a okay we are giving a k here we are giving k as 3 for model 2 we are giving 4 okay by using this why we are giving 3 and 4 here k is the parameters okay model 1 has 3 parameters model 2 has 4 power 4 parameters that's why we are using 3 log and each model has 100 observations that is 100 3 log 100 minus 2a we are giving a maximum likelihood for model 1 is a and model 2 is 2a okay for 2a is equals 6 minus 2a after calculating both we will get some that answer this is a Bayesian information criterion example. Okay. This is about the BIC and Bayesian approach. Thank you.